What's up? It's Danny Myers, the Bar God. I am back. This is my Gnome 9 Bar God Breakdown. We are officially one week away from the super exciting, super mega event. Loaded Lux vs. Averb. We about to just jump right into it. Let's break down this card. Let's break down the do's and the don'ts of what each battler should be doing. This is my keys to victory. I'm not doing predictions. I'm just saying what I feel each battler should do to win the battle. Uh, first battle, John John versus Jack Boy May. Listen, John John. Nigga, you was you was just throwing a, a fucking alley oop. You was just throwing a no look pass, nigga. Like you just got the crazy Walmart chain angle just giving to you and just fell in your lap, my nigga. Like, all right, so look, I feel like John John be hollow to die. Uh, and I felt right after that he had lost the O Red Volume Four and he lost the Twerk at Resolution. Not saying he got beat bad, but I, I think they both edged him out. So. Coming, coming off of those two losses, I think this is a must-win game for John John, considering the, the 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 grudge, the ongoing beef. You know, Jack Boy tried to rap at Resolution. John John stopped it during Twerk's third round. You know, it's a lot of animosity going on there. Like John John, this is a must-win battle for you. You cannot let Jack Boy win this battle, nigga. You already was known for for stealing anyway, right? So this is what I think you should do. I think you should take T-Top's Walmart third round angle and just and just flip it. Just do it your own way. Like that that whole Jack Boy got the, the chain from Walmart. Take T-Top's third round that he had from Rum Nitty and remake it. Like just do your own version of it. Just steal the whole fucking angle, my nigga, and, and make it fire. I mean, I'm telling you, the crowd gonna go fucking crazy. You got you got something. Everybody in the building gonna be waiting on you to say something about that chain anyway. You might as well just fucking do it, right? All right, Jack Boy Man. Listen, my nigga. Wear the chain. <laughs> Wear the fucking chain because that says you don't give a fuck about him having that angle. That's saying you don't care about a nigga having a, a fucking uh, angle about your chain. You're not shying away from it. You're not trying to run and hide from it. You're putting it on full display. And you've been killing in them uh them band uh situations. You're king of the band right now. Listen, man, a lot of these niggas got their baby mamas from Walmart. Don't let niggas try to tell you that because John John got that angle on you, you can't win this battle. You can win this battle. Big stage, small stage, mid-size stage, you've been cooking. Alright, so go in there, be aggressive. Say fuck what this nigga talking about. Jump in this nigga face and spit. Oh, y'all must say understand the Japanese. Look, man, Japanese this nigga. Walmart chain this nigga. Do whatever fuck you gotta do. Do not lose this battle, Jack Boy. Next battle, Patch Day versus Shotgun Shug. Two giants, literally and figuratively, in battle rap. Two big ass motherfuckers talking shit to each other. I don't necessarily know what. Either man has to say to each other, uh, Shug, you come in there with the angle of, oh, nigga, I'm from Newark, you from Nova Scotia, nigga, we built different, I'm from a whole different block, the, all that Jersey shit you be talking, the pocket pocket tapping, the the, uh, the dunking, whatever y'all finna do, then do that shit. Pat Stay, the key to victory is to be Pat Stay. You, you, you've been on a great streak, me, uh, Arsenal, uh, Tate Rock, you've been on a great streak of, of dope battles. Be Pat Stay and keep your poise. That's the whole key to victory here. Get in his face and stay poised. If he pocket tap you, if he dunk on you, don't let none of that affect you. Don't let the crowd going crazy affect you. Just re just use all the skills that you were blessed with. The, the wit, the charm, the, the swag, all that stuff that you use. Don't, don't go away from it now. I don't think this is the battle where you want to not be Pat Stay. I don't think you want to out tough him and you're out more street than him. I don't think this is the battle for that. Just stay, remain poised. Shotgun should attack this man. Attack this man. Attack him. Attack him. I'm not sure if this is. I don't think niggas is looking for a lyrical battle here. I don't think this is like niggas ain't looking for like a bar fest. Like niggas want to see who gonna back down. We trying to see who gonna back down. We got two. They booked y'all two big ass niggas for a reason. We trying to see who gonna back down. 
do not back down. That's that's both. That's my advice to both of y'all. Do don't back down, especially you, Pat State. Sug going he gonna try to be the alpha. He gonna he gonna try to be the aggressor here. Don't don't let that stop you from doing what you normally do. Remain calm and cool because then it'll look to us like Suge's ferocious attacks ain't affecting you. All right, so we're gonna go on to Av versus Arsenal. Av has Av's bar game is 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 incredible, man. Uh, I just seen Av versus Gluezy on the URL TV app. Get the app if you don't have it. It's a, it's a fire app. Support it. Um, Av's bars are crazy, man. Arsenal. Arsenal just reminded us versus Twerk and Gichi Gotti why he is a Rushmore candidate. Why is he a GOAT tier battle rapper? You know, Arsenal getting there with the new guys, the legends, and, and, he, and he shows up. You know what I mean? Like, Av, to me, or to the consensus, you are like 0-2 in style clashes, which would be your battle versus T-Top and your battle versus Shotgun Shug. Even though you have the edge on them lyrically, just overall battle rap, battle rap, general ring knowledge, they were able to beat you. I don't think they beat you with the bars. I just think they beat you with just the experience. You don't want to go down 0-3. This this you have a legend you got a legend not to say that you ain't battle legend before but like this arsenal battle could really really you know you you hit a ceiling you hit a ceiling like okay this is as good as you gonna be or this is as high as you're gonna pro progress in the in the culture if you could beat arsenal clear now niggas is gonna be really looking at you as a like when you first came out like niggas was scared of you like you a viable threat like and we know you a threat, all right? So this battle, you just got to beat this man. You got to beat him. And what you got to do to beat Arsenal is to not be phased. And you got to show you got to show better ring tactics. It ain't just about the, the rapping. We, we know you got better bars than Arsenal. It ain't about that. Because, I mean, if you look at you versus Kayshawn, it was like the same type of scenario where you, I definitely feel like your pen is better than Kayshawn, but I think Kayshawn performed better on that on that stage during the strike and a lot of people feel like you lost in the building including myself but then when they go back and watch it on camera a lot of people was giving you the battle we don't you don't need that same scenario you don't need to lose in the building and then be like oh well when they you watch it on camera watch it on the app no you got to win in the building app arsenal arsenal the the consistency you, you you know you gotta maintain the same consistency that you show versus twerk Ichigati, this is the battle to do it. Let's go. Let's not play any games. Arsenal, show the young guy, well, he can't a young guy, but show the new, he ain't even a new nigga. Just show this nigga why you are Arsenal and why he don't even belong in the same ring with you. Like, we ain't, we ain't trying to make no debatable. It ain't no debatables. One of y'all got the, one of y'all got the win clear. I think, on all these battles, somebody got to win clear. Like we got to start getting clear wins again in battle right now. Okay, let's 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 move forward. Rum Nitty versus K Shine. Rum Nitty's pin game is one of the best that we've ever seen in battle rap. It's got some of the most incredible punches we've we've ever seen. Uh, K Shine, one of the best performers that we've ever seen in battle rap. Top three, top top yeah, top three to me of all time. Uh, Nitty, this is another, this is one of those battles where it just ain't going to be all about the bars. This is not the small room, this is not volume. This is a big stage, this is known, it's 1,500 people in the building. Yes, people definitely want to hear bars. That Houston crowd, they want to hear bars. They, like, they're not playing. When they hear some bullshit, they booing. So, you got that part covered, right? Well, what you're going to need to do in this battle is incorporate the same level of performance that you use versus T-Top. You perform very well at Resolution in Atlanta versus T-Top. So you mixed the dope rapping with the bars, and that's what you're going to need. You can't let, you can't let K-Shine performance be up here, but your performance right here, but your bars is up here, but K-Shine bars is right here. Because a lot of times, to the, to the fans viewing it, especially in the building, 
niggas going to say K-Shine beat you. K-Shine, listen, man. Uh, we're going to need, from you, you're going to definitely have to step the bars up. Because this is still a rap contest at the end of the day. This is not battle performance. You know, this is definitely not a, a, a theatrical thing here. We definitely want to see you spit bars. But I know you can't really match lyric, lyrically. You can't match MIDI bar for bar. So, we're going to need one of them magical moments, or two of them, two or three of them, that you use versus JC. When you did the whole any R JC, are you okay? That whole Michael Jackson scheme you did on UW, that shit that you did versus JC, we need another, like, one of them type of moments again. Or uh, one of them moments versus verb. Hold so big, fuck around and walk on. Shake the building. Shake the building, K-Shine. You've been on fire. Shake the building. That's going to be your key to beating Rum Nitty, man. Okay, let's move forward. Geechee Gotti versus Sue Surf. This is a crazy matchup. Two Cribs going at it. Geechee always battling gangbangers, it seemed like. Um, listen, Geechee, you dealing with Surf's return. This is his, what, third return? How many fucking returns this nigga Surf got? But but you know how it be. When it, especially, listen, let me tell you something, Geechee. Surf said that the old Surf is dead. The night that, that, that his life was almost ended, that changed him in a whole lot of ways. And I believe him, bro. Like, anytime somebody have, like, a life life or death experience, that just changes their whole perspective on life and their appreciation for for things. And I really believe, sir, I really believe that he's super serious about this battle. And, man, listen, listen, Gigi. All you got to do is withstand his first first round. Because you understand, when, he, when a man is making his return, and he get to talking that shit, that crowd is finna go crazy for Surf's first 8, 12 bars, 16 bars. They going crazy. Like, it's almost like a lot of people already feeling like Surf already won the first round. You see what I'm saying? Don't make this first debatable because they going to give it to Surf automatically. Don't, it can't be debatable. Win the first round, and we know your thirds be, like, unbeatable. This is the key to you. I think the key to you is how you set the tone or, like, if he go first, how do you respond to his his first? Or if you set the tone, so you got to set the bar up here to where he can't match it. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if Surf match your first round, then it's like they going to that's Surf round. I'm trying to tell you how this shit go, man. Win that first round, and you're going to be in good shape. So, Surf, listen, man, you got everything that a battler should have down there. You think I think you got all the, the, the necessary components to be one of the greats, right? Bars, performance, flow, timing, charisma, star power. You, you, you can just do it all. Like, I've seen you do it all. But what I don't see from you is discipline and dedication to the craft. It's like you, you, you a cold nigga at this shit. But it's like when they was tripping on Allen Iverson, not, like, not showing up for practice. Like, practice is, is still important, bro. Like, we just need three complete rounds out of you. If you could deliver three complete rounds, bro, it's like, it's a whole lot of people that'll feel like you won the battle anyway. Just off of you delivering three complete rounds. That's all we need from you, sir. That's the key to you. Like, if you if you come in here and you stumble, if you, you come short in that third round, and, and you know you can't come short in the third round versus Geechee third round, you already know it. Battle is going to be over. Get through your three rounds, sir. That's, all, that's, the, that's the key for you here. Loaded Lux versus a verb. This could be a classic in the making, or we could be putting too much emphasis and hype on it, and it could be a letdown. I don't think it's going to be a letdown. Listen, man, this brother's been going on for years, 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 back and forth on the street corner. We all seen that video. Uh, you know, listen, man, for 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 a verb, I think the, the, the key for you here. You're going to have to combine lyricism with direct attacking. And I think what happened in the Mook battle, and why a lot of people, including myself, gave you the victory is because you attacked Mook straight forward, went straight to it. You wasn't trying to out-lyrical him and out-scheme him and none of that. You just you attacked him as a man and as a battle rapper. You just went straight for the jugular. You're going to need that same approach with your highest level of pin game. Loaded Lux. 
you're gonna need two of those hot 97. You know that you know that shit you did on hot 97 where the whole world was going crazy and they's calling it the greatest hot 97 freestyle ever. You're going to need two of those. We've seen the preacher, we've seen the, the karate lux, we've, we've seen the black panther lux. I don't know what lux you're gonna be. You talking about gray hoodie lux? Listen. We only seen Grey Hoodie, Grey Hoodie Lux one time, and that was versus Midwest Miles. We haven't seen that Lux again in a battle rap setting. We seen Grey Hoodie Lux come to Hot 97. We need that same Lux to come to, to Gnome 9 with two of those, at least two rounds. You give us one of them, people going to be like, oh, he's back. But then if you go into the nonsensical thing and you go into the preaching and trying to talk to him, I don't know, man, if, if, if Verb is coming at you directly, for at least two rounds, two out of the three rounds, he's coming at you and he's got a crazy pin. You're gonna lose the battle lux. Loaded lux. If you come with two of them hot 97 rounds, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know how how many battle rappers could survive that. I don't know how many walking this earth could survive. Let alone one. But if you got two of those, that's your key to victory. That's how you're gonna be a bird, man. We need to see a rapping loaded Lux, a dope, lyrical, rapping loaded. I don't think this is the time to be the preacher Lux and you want to talk the verb. Nah, man, we, we, we need to see why you the, the greatest and why you the goat, goat pen and all, you know, all these accolades. Show us. Show us. That's your kitty victory. Uh, let me make sure I did not. Let me make sure I did not skip out on any battle. I don't think I covered it all. That's my Gnome 9 predictions or breakdown. Like I said, uh, Gnome 9 is a week away. Get your tickets. If you're in the area, get your pay-per-view. You don't want to miss this card. There will be a lot of dope events coming up immediately following Gnome 9. You might be seeing myself on some of these big cards. Stay tuned. But yeah, man, that's my bar guy breakdown. Peace.